In this slide, I want to show you what you can expect to learn by end of this video. I will teach you TikTok campaign objectives and how to choose the right objective, how to define an ad group, how to create TikTok ad copy, how to install TikTok Pixel, and we'll share with you some advanced TikTok marketing tips. Also, we're going to learn some, you know, tactics about TikTok video creation, you know, using some tools, smart video and soundtrack tools. So uh, for those of you watching this video on my channel, make sure to subscribe. Next week, I'm going to teach Shopify, uh, you know, how to create your Shopify store, online store, which is going to be a complete uh, beginner guide. So. This is a very uh, quick introduction about me for those of you who are uh, interested to know more about me and if you want to reach out to me. To start and to be able to run ads on TikTok, there are some essential steps you must know. First of all, you should have pro account. What I recommend you, now you can go to settings and privacy of a TikTok app and click on manage my account then switch to pro. Usually by default, when you create your account is like a, a basic account. You need to switch to pro account. It can, it can be a business or can be creator uh, mode. So after switching to pro account, then head over to TikTok business. So I uh, opened the TikTok business for you here. This is the dashboard TikTok business. And you can simply uh, start your first campaign by clicking on campaign setup or a start and now. So before I jump into TikTok advertising dashboard or TikTok ads manager, I want to talk about a structure of TikTok ads. So uh, first of all, we have campaign. In the campaign part, we have to, you know, uh, choose our objective campaign's objective and also uh, decide how much would be the budget we want to spend for advertising. Under campaign, it comes with ad groups. You can have multiple ad groups targeting different people. So for example, in ad group one, you might say, I want to target people in this age range, in this location, and in interested in this topic or categories. And under each ad group, it comes with ads. You need to create your ads. It could be those uh, content you already publish on TikTok account, or you can create an ad from scratch. Also, I'll teach you some very amazing tools that you can create amazing content, like some templates uh, that, uh, you know, on TikTok app. So uh, let me jump into, you know, uh, TikTok advertising dashboard. Here is that, you know, um, dashboard you're going to see after, you know, registering this, uh, clicking on this uh, start now. So we are here now. I click on create campaign. So. The first step we need to, you know, uh, here make a decision is simplified mode or custom mode. Simplified mode or is for amateur advertisers who don't know much about advertising and they don't know how to target people properly and professionally. So in that case, you as, a, as an advertiser want to let TikTok make decisions to show your ads to which type of people you just you know uh, add give some basic information and the rest will be on you know TikTok. custom mode is the one we want to choose to have full control experience that you know can you know select our objective you know uh conversions and you know targeting every every uh, every options available on advertising dashboard we can have access to. We click on custom mode and here you can see several objectives. And it's very important to select right objective because if you don't choose the right objective, you are not gonna get good results. Based on your business needs and goals, you must select the right objective. Let me explain uh, you know, more about each of these objectives. The first one is reach. Basically, reach is, uh, you know, when you want to spend your money to reach 
people beyond your fans, beyond your following. Let's say you have like $50, you want to spend this money to show your ad to maximum number of people. And TikTok will help you to show your ads to people who are interested in your product, your you know, uh, business. But these people are not qualified, are not quality traffic. They are kind of interested in this topic, but they are not buyers. So don't expect by running rich campaign, you get some uh, purchases, some conversions, some sales, some leads. No, it's just uh, people going to see your ads to remember it. So why some businesses uh, decide to choose rich? Because in a marketing, we have one you know, cognitive bias. We call it, you know, uh, the, the Bader mindful phenomenon, or the scientific name of that is frequency illusion. Basically, it tells us that when you see or hear something more than one time, several times on multi, uh, multi cha channels, let's say Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Google, emails, then you come to believe that this product is popular and relevant to me. So it's, it's, it's a, like a psychological, you know, concept that, you know, let's read it. You know how sometimes you hear about something for the first time, then you start noticing it everywhere. Increased awareness of something makes you think you are seeing it way more often than you did before. Your advertisements that are shown repeatedly on multi-channels over a long period of time will keep the perception that your product is popular and relevant to prospects. The second objective we can choose is traffic. Basically, by choosing traffic, you're going to drive the traffic to your website, landing page, you know, blog post to just, you know, know people you, uh, you just bring people to know more about your business, to read your landing page. Again, you are, you, you cannot expect to get sales or lead through traffic. These traffic are those people that mostly click on landing pages based on the history of, you know, actions that, you know, is stored by, you know, a TikTok. TikTok knows its users very well. And these people that are going to see your ads, they're going to mostly click on your ads. So that's why then you see the traffic of your blog website is going up because it's a traffic campaign. Then we have app installs. If you have an application and you want to increase the installs, then go for this objective. Sometimes you have a very amazing video and you want to just share it with people to enjoy that video. So you want to select this objective. Lead generation. Lead generation is very amazing objective for service-based companies like realtors, mortgage brokers, when they want to collect leads, basically getting, getting information of prospects, they run lead generation campaign. Let me show you one uh, example of lead generation campaign. For those of you who don't know what is lead, lead is a prospect, could be individual or organization, with an interest in what you are selling or offering. So when you show them ads, these people become interested in it, they have interest in it, and they are they want to learn more about that, then they click on sign up, they're gonna come to this page. And and interesting enough, this page, you don't need it to you, it's not your website or landing page. It's a page, it's a form inside the app. You just need to put the email those you know fields that you need to people fill out. Okay, it's not a website, it's inside the app. Let's say I created this and I want to collect email, name, phone number of prospects, those people interested in, let's say, property or getting mortgage, home mortgage. You can, uh, you know, collect leads. And then some steps, then final, they're going to submit that form and register. Done. So, and also we have a community interaction. So if you select this one, 
your ad will be shown to people most likely in track with it, like share it, comment, like, and download your video, mostly in tractions. How, you know, uh, TikTok knows that because these people in tractions will be always are stored or are tracked by TikTok and TikTok knows Let's say these people mostly interact. They are highly engaged audience. That's why these people are best group of people to show your ads to them. And lastly, we have conversions. Conversion, what is conversion? For those of you who don't know the meaning of conversions, conversion is any desired action you want users to take on your website. Conversion could be purchase, could be sign up, could be you know anything on your website and and you know TikTok put those quality traffic on this conversion section. So now we understand if you want to bring quality traffic to our website and want them to take valuable actions, desired action like purchase, we must select conversions. Don't expect to get sales by selecting traffic, no. Selecting conversions bring you quality traffic. And you might ask why, if the quality traffic comes by selecting this you know, objective, why some people select traffic and reach objective? You need to know conversion is, is the most expensive campaign objective. If here you're going to get charged, let's say $2, $1 here per conversion, you might get charged, let's say $7, $8, because it's a quality traffic. Those shoppers, those people, like prospects, very, they are very close to the bottom of funnel will be targeted. That's the reason. So now after selecting the right objective based on your company's need and goals, it comes to campaign name simply because uh, we're gonna run multiple campaigns for our company. Simply put the right name here to, rem uh, to remember it for later time. And after that, we have a special ad categories that if, the, if your ad categories uh, fall under these categories, you, you should you know, uh, select that category because let's say credit, if you select credit, there are more requirements you need to follow because these are sensitive you know, uh, categories that might cause a fraud, a scam, or these kind of things. And that's the reason. So then we have uh, create a split test. Basically, a split test is when you want to split test variables. Let's say you, are, you have you know, some ideas, like let's say uh, you have a Buyer pers two buyer persona and with different age group. Let's say millennials, baby boomers. You want to split test, you know, age. You, you would say one ad gonna target millennials, one ad gonna target baby boomers. And at the end of, let's say, after three days, I want to see the performance of each ad. It's like a split testing. Then you're gonna understand, oh my God, millennials are responding better and giving better results. So you keep that millennials ad and shut down that you know, baby boomers ad. You can split test gender, let's say uh, interest, age, you know, many variables. Later, you can, uh, I'll show you. After that, it comes with campaign budget optimization. So, you know, this campaign budget optimization is very important section that many skip over and don't understand the importance of that. So here, if you turn this on, basically you are giving this permission to TikTok to optimize your campaign budget. As you can see here, uh, TikTok is saying that if you turn this on, we allocate your budget, you know, we divide your, we allocate your budget to ad groups, ad group that expected to work better. You see ad group A, ad group B. Here, you know, you know, uh, TikTok uh, decides to, you know, uh, put more money. Let's say, let's say you have $20, decides to put more money for 
ad group number A and $5 for ad group number B. And you can see total conversion 35, more, like 35 conversions. But if you don't sell, don't turn this on, you might make some wrong decisions. You allocate, let's say, twenty ten dollar to ad group num A and ten dollar ad group B, but you don't know what is the best performing ad group, and then you're gonna get twenty conversions from ad group A and ten conversions from ad group B. You can see total conversion thirty, which is lower than this. So that's the reason that. Sometimes you want to live it for, you know, uh, live it, you know, keep it on, turn it on to let TikTok optimize your campaign budget. In, you know, uh, in article, you're going to see that they call it CBO. We have CBO strategies on Facebook and other platforms. Uh, what usually I do it myself, I turn this on to, you know, uh, let TikTok optimize my budget. After that, it comes with daily budget because, because this uh, TikTok is getting very popular and many advertisers started advertising on TikTok. Uh, you know, not anymore. You can, uh, you know, allocate like $10 budget for your campaign. So here is TikTok saying you, telling you that the minimum budget you can start with is it, $50. Okay. Not, not less than that. $50 is the minimum. So, and better strategy is lowest cost. And this is the only better strategy we have in this uh, campaign. For some other campaigns, you know, some other campaigns, you're gonna see different better strategies that later I'll, uh, I'm gonna select other strategy, other objectives to see other bid strategies. Then will explain you what the purpose of each and performance of each. Then we have delivery type, a standard and accelerated. And here we only see a standard. And but for some other campaigns, we're gonna see accelerated. What, what's the difference? A standard, the, the speed of delivery is normal. You know, TikTok gonna show your ads on different uh, time, different days, you know, very normal pace, but if you select accelerated, let's say tomorrow you have a webinar and you want to uh, make that webinar full, you want to bring audience to that webinar, you don't have time to wait for one week to, you know, uh, show your ads. You want to increase the speed of your ad. Then you select accelerated to, to show your ad to maximum number of people in a very short period of time. But we're going to see it in other uh, campaign type, but here we only have it we only see a standard. Then we got, after I click on continue, we're gonna finish campaign settings. Now you notice that we jump into ad group settings. There are some settings that we need to go through to you know complete it to create our ad group. Here you can name your ad group. You know sometimes you are not sure what would be the good name for ad group. Later you can redefine it. Don't worry. Basically what people put here is the target audience, those people based on their interest, passion, habits, gender, location that they want to target, they put it here that, you know, later understand what people targeted. So let's say uh, you can, you know, based on your business, you can put your ad group name. So here uh, basically wants you to select the destination of your ad, you know, destination for traffic. You want to send the traffic to website or app. It's your choice. So in this case, uh, we're going to send the traffic to website. So from now forward, keep an eye on the right side hand, this panel here. So as we, you know, uh, change some, some of this option here, you can see it goes up and goes down. The, 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 the amount of people we can target on TikTok. So let's start. Here you can see the placement, automatic placement, and you know uh, manual placement. Here, if you put it automatic, your ad will be shown on all TikTok products and partners website. If you select placement, you have control to deselect some of those placements. Let's say you want to say, I don't want to show my ads on this newsfeed or Pingo. 
you just deselect that. And after that, you have these options to allow users, those people see your ad, leave a comment and download your video. Honestly, I don't see any reasons why we should turn them off because if people leave a comment, it's like a social proof. People leave a positive comment, then other new users, other new people gonna see our ads, then they can see uh, that some, some humans interacted with our you know, post and increase the authority of our brand and our ads. And if people download our video, they can save it on their gallery. And for maybe later, they can, you know, uh, rewatch that. And, you know, it's very good. So after that, we have creative type. Basically, we have this option on Facebook advertising as well. So uh, let's say, you know, uh, instead of having one ad text and one image or video, you have multiple videos and multiple ad copy. And you don't, you are not sure and certain which ad copy is a good match with the, which video. You are totally, you completely, you, you don't know basically. What you want to do, you want to delegate this task to, you know, uh, TikTok and let TikTok decide. So TikTok, what will do basically, you know, create multiple combination of creative assets, including video and ad text. Ad delivery will be automated to show your audience the combination that can maximize your result. If you turn this on, on the ad section, ad part, you need to provide more than one ad copy, more than one video. So for this case, we turn this off. Now it comes with custom targeting and automatic targeting, which is, I would say, here you can see the power of TikTok advertising and how effective it can be, right? Let's learn it. Here, the option you can see is automatic targeting that, you know, basically you don't see those options that you can manually set up and target your audience. The only option you can see is, let's say location and language. You can say, okay, the location is uh, Canada, British Columbia and greater Vancouver. So target people in this location and the, the language must be let's say uh, hindi okay so those people living in greater vancouver and speak hindi will be targeted that's it you don't have more control on targeting but what i love the most is custom targeting let's see the power of that we select custom targeting then it comes here that we selected location greater Vancouver, okay? Or you can select some countries. If you operate internationally, you can say Canada, UK, USA, Australia, all of them. And this, the, what is the language of people, those people living in that area, in those areas, neighborhood? You can say, okay, I know people in greater Vancouver mostly speak English, but I only wanna target people speak Hindi or speak, let's say, Korean, Japanese, Portuguese, Russian, okay, whatever. And basically this is the way you can target location and language on all advertising platform. After that, guys, look at this, uh, you know, box now at the same time, greater Vancouver so far, we can target this number of people. So after that, it comes with language that, you know, uh, we said, okay, Japanese, you stick too narrow. Japanese people living in this area are not that much, like thousand. It's too narrow. We don't want to go too narrow and too broad. We want to uh, be balanced, okay? So in the middle, in a green area. So for that reason, you know, uh, we should, you know, uh, don't limit it. English maybe and Japanese in case if your target audience also speak English. Then gender. You can select, okay, based on maybe your product or business, you can say this product a skincare product is good for uh, women or men. After that, it comes with age. It's very important to know the dominant group of people on, uh, you know, uh, dominant age group, age range on TikTok. So when we come to, you know, some stats and facts, we see based on some, you know, uh, research, uh, 
it shows that roughly 43% of TikTok's global audience is between 18 and 24 years old. Thirty-two percent of TikTok users are aged between twenty-five and thirty-four. Only three point four three point four percent of TikTok audience is older than fifty-five. And TikTok officially has over one billion monthly active users. Hundred thirty-eight million monthly active users are from the U.S. So now, based on your target audience or buyer persona profile, you can say, okay. Uh, our target audience are this group of people. Usually I don't recommend to target this group of people because some of them, they don't have, let, let's say, uh, that permission to use some products or uh, they are not allowed to do something or they don't have purchasing power, some, some thing to purchase. Maybe you just want to, you have some engaging content, you just want to increase the uh, fans audience, then targeting those people would be a good idea. After this part, age targeting, it comes to audience part. So for the first campaign, you don't have uh, control on it because there is zero, there is zero information there. So for TikTok and Facebook and basically are all other social media platform, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, we have, you know, code, a piece of code, we call it pixel. So let me tell you, what is Pixel? Pixel is code snippet is placed on your website to track who is in the website and what does on the website. You wanna know the interest, behavior, demographics of those people visit your website. What's the reason to know, to, to know those information? Because Later on, you can retarget those people that you can say, those people living in Vancouver and visited my website, I want to retarget them to upsell, cross-sell. That's the power of TikTok Pixel that later I'll show you how to install it. So then here you can see interest and behaviors. That's amazing. Here you can target audience by interest. Let's say we have a skincare product. You can simply come here and say, I want to target people who are interested in beauty and personal care. You select that, or you can even see some subcategories, oral care, hair care, skincare, or whatever. And here also you can see some suggestions uh, from TikTok, naturally beautiful or glowing, smooth, cool. Right? You can add multiple interests, no limit. Then it comes with behavior. It's very important to understand how pixel, sorry, how TikTok algorithms work. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. So mm, I, okay. So it's very important to know TikTok shows you the content that thinks you would like it. It uses micro behavior to understand your interest. For example, if you're the type of person in track with, you know, some, pa some pages about beauty, about personal care, about health, and mostly you like them, you comment and you share their video, then, you know, you can be targeted by advertisers based on your behavior, based on your interactions with uh, content in that category, in that specific category. Here, I can target people who watch the content until the end, who like the content, who comment more the content, who share the comment, con share the content in this category. What is that category? The category I would, I would think would be very close to my business. Let's say talent, performance, sport, culture, entertainment, beauty, and style. There we go. It's very close to my business category. Sometimes you cannot find your category there. Make sure to find to select the closest category to your business. So these people who mostly interact with this category, they will be targeted. And you can you know choose the time period. 
seven days, 15 days. Imagine that. These people that within the last seven days interacted with this top category content, content in this category will be targeted. Means that they are, it's a fresh interest. They are now in the, you know, they are very close to the, you know, uh, they, they are very interested because Within seven days, they interacted a lot with this topic. Or you can say 15 days. Those people have this like interest. 15 days, they you know keep interacting with this content. It means that it's their long-term interest. They are really love and like content in this category. So you want to target them. Then we have ad behavior, like based on their behavior. Most of these people, after watching the video, Okay, they follow the account in that category or they view the profile, which is very, I believe, very amazing feature that you can, you know, target people who mostly followed other pages, other accounts similar to your account, which is, let's say, uh, in which category you can select the closest category to your, cat, to your business category. Let's say technology, fitness and health. I would go for this. This is the closest one. You know, the society, daily life, okay. I come with here, fitness and health. Then these people will be targeted. And also a very, my favorite part is this one, that you can also target people based on their interaction with some content that had some specific hashtags. Let's say you have hashtag beauty. So beauty tip, beauty, let's say, uh, beauty hack, beauty tool, beauty water, let's say beauty lover. Or you can say beauty, beauty uh, product. There you go. So now you understand how this micro behavior system works. When you watch a video on YouTube and you simply like it, and you don't know there are other hashtags inside that content that it shows that it signals to TikTok, you're interested in this hashtag. You interacted within this hashtag by watching videos that had these hashtags. So then we have device. Here, basically you can specify what, what should be the device of people seeing your ad. You know, the only, time you can use it, it's better to use it. It's when you have an application and you wanna promote your app and that app is only good for iOS uh, you know, users. So, but for others, you can just leave it whatever it is. No limit, no limit. Then we go to budget and a schedule. Definitely you can, uh, you can define the you know, start date and end date of your you know, campaign. Let's say until, end of the June, you know, July, we want to run this campaign. And here you can even say all days, you want to run your ads all days or on some specific times. It's very important and very good to understand what are those optimized time and best times to post on TikTok. By knowing that, you know what time there is a heavy traffic on TikTok. And there are many people on TikTok. So you can see that Thursday 7 p.m. is the best time to post and maybe advertise. And other days, other best times. You can follow this you know, schedule and exactly select these uh, times for advertising or at least one hour before this time to start your uh, you know, uh, ads. So, then, you know, we have optimization goal that for this specific campaign, we only see click, but for some other campaigns, you might see other optimization goals. And the bid strategy, uh, some people get confused with meaning of bid and budget. Basically, guys, bid is the amount you are willing to pay per action. Let's, let's say for this campaign is traffic, the action is click. So for each click, how much you are willing to pay. It's a bit a strategy. But budget is the whole budget of your campaign. Could be $50, okay? That's the difference between bit and budget. 
And now here you can see that you have, uh, you know, just billing event click. TikTok gonna charge you based on, uh, you know, click CPC cost per click. And this is the standard delivery. We go next, we click on next, and then you see that. Now we finish the ad group setting, and now we are in ad section. Here saying we can uh, define and name our ad to later remember it. And here simply, you know, uh, for identity guys, when people see your ad, they want to know who is the identity, who is the person or organization showing this ad. This is amazing feature TikTok has, other platforms don't have it. What's that? You can select this Spark ad. So what is a Spark ad? Let me tell you. The Spark ad is a new ad format that lets brands boost their own organic posts or the videos of creators as the top view or in feed ads. So let me explain more. Basically, when you turn this on, like you wanna select a Spark ad, then people see your ad, they can recognize your identity. Basically, this is, this is Brian page. Okay, now this is my own page and they can see the handle is Brian Moliki. Sometimes you as a brand wanna promote the video of creators. Some influencers created video for you, then you can promote those videos. Why it's important? Because we call it user-generated content. It's amazing when other new users, prospects, see that you have lots of fans, lots of influencers created content for you and talking about your brand positively. They, it's like a testimonial. It's very powerful technique. So if you want to get, you want to promote the creator's content, let's say I as a, you know, uh, let's say BMW brand, one person, one influencer created a content, a video, you know, driving my car, driving BMW and explaining how enjoyable it is that. So what I do, I, you know, reach out to that creator and then ask him or her to please share with me the post code, how they can do that. They can go inside the app and then this is the instruction. Okay, it's very simple. You simply click on the setting and then turn on this ad settings. And then you click on that video. Then, you know, you find that, you know, uh, ad content ad, ad authorization, and then turn this on. You see video code, this video code, you can say, okay, I'm ready to share this video code for 15 days with this brand. Then you get that code and share it with advertiser. That advertiser can place that code here. Then they are gonna see that video here. And let's say you as a BMW brand, then you can promote the, the influencer's content. Or influencers, influencers, you know, on the contrary, influencers can promote content of BMW. Just share the link, just, just that simple. Yeah. Think about that on, let's say on Facebook, Instagram, you cannot promote and advertise content of other brands. You know, inside the Facebook dashboard, you need to select the paid partnership, then you will be able to do that. It's amazing feature that TikTok now allows that, you know, uh, influencer can promote content of uh, brands. That's very easy to do. So, but if you don't have this, you know, uh, don't wanna go with Spark ads or like influencers content, just keep it like, you know, uh, use your own account. Or if you turn this off, even you can, you know, put a custom identity, whatever name, let's say make money online or entrepreneurship tip or whatever. And even you can upload a very custom, uh, you know, profile picture for people. So when people see, see that, they see, oh, profile picture and the name of that page. So that's, the per, that's how it works basically. But for this case, I wanna you know, enable Spark Ads and show my own profile picture and handle. Then it comes with 
add details. Here you have two options. You know, you know, for add, you can upload those posts you already published on your TikTok account. You click on that and you can you can see all the posts. Okay. Or you can click on uh, you know video and upload a video from your desktop. You know, we click here and let's say here is our video. And then we're gonna, you know, and not upload. Why? The file. Okay, it was a, uh, uh, there was an issue with the name. Then upload the video. There we go. Now we can see our video here. This is exactly that video we want to show to uh, people. Okay, it's one example. Definitely your video must be very, uh, you know, attractive and, you know, attract attention in the first two seconds. Should be, shouldn't be very boring because in a video marketing, we always say and recommend in the first two seconds, three seconds of your video, people decide to scroll it, skip it, or stay and watch it. Now, if you want to say, no, actually, uh, I don't want it this way, what you can do, uh, let's me, you can go with create. So you don't want to upload from your desktop. It's a, it's amazing dashboard that, you know, TikTok created. Other platforms usually don't have this. TikTok created to provide you some, some templates, pre-made templates that you can use it. Let's say TikTok video template, you click on recommend it. And here is the list of many templates that you can go through and select based on the industry and other, you know, you can filter it. And then you, you can say, oh, I like this, this, you know, template. You select that template. And here you can definitely replace the image and choose and upload your own image. Here you can, you know, replace your image, replace this with your image and also change the brand name. Let's say Sephora and 50 person, you can do it like, 20% of, you know, these are all things that you can change it. And even the color of that text, you can change it to red. You know, sometimes it's a brand color. You have your own brand color. So you must change based on the brand color. And even font, font family of that text. Sometimes we have our own, our, our, our own brand font. So here you can even change the brand, you know, uh, font family. So now after replacing all images with your image, then you are good to go. Here even you can select the background music. You, can, you see there are lists of different you know, categories and you can say, for example, I wanna use, okay? You wanna select this one probably, for example. Then you select that and maybe for you, I don't know why it doesn't allow me to. Select it. I don't see the reason. There we go, Monday. Oh, because I already selected one. We have to deselect that and select here and then select this one, confirm. And now we're gonna have this. So then you confirm that this is, let's say this is the, Middle template we chose, we selected, and then you know we replace the images, and that's much better than the video we uploaded. So we have to wait to you know this video uh, upload, and then be ready to use. I continue. Okay, now we have our content ready. We confirm it. There we go. Now we want to promote this one.
And definitely we need to put the text and that text will appear here, you know, under the, uh, the name of our page, name of, uh, you know, under the handle. Here you can say, uh, did you know about, did you know about the um, top in, or did you know about the Aruma skin care product, skin care product, and definitely you have limited characters. You can write up to hundred characters. Very, you, sh you should use very, you know, strong and powerful words because it's not like Instagram and Facebook. You can write, let's say, thousand words. No, you have limited two hundred words. Make sure it, you know, uh, it's very powerful words and phrase. After that, it asks you what is that, you know, URL that you want to send the traffic to. You want, you want to say, okay, this is my, let's say. Uh, this is a website of one of my clients that I designed. For example, I would say, you know, I want to send the traffic to homepage or this landing page or product page up to, you know, your choice. Then you send the traffic there. And here we go. After that, it, it comes to call to action. For call to action, uh, basically, if that button, that text over button people can see. If you leave it dynamic, you know, you know, uh, they, you know, TikTok will choose that, you know, text over your, you know, on your button. And based on rotating basis, will, you know, change it to see which, you know, call to action attract, call to action button attracts more, you know, uh, people to click on the website, or you can say a standard, you can choose your own, uh, you know, call to action. You can say, okay, for this one, I wanna, you know, people that call to action, they see it's interested. Okay, very nice. And then you can, you know, uh, definitely uh, turn this a disclaimer to tell your prospects or some people the maximum uh, level of your responsibilities and just, you know, here, I mentioned that for disclaimer is a statement that specifies, you know, or places a limit on a business or individual's legal liability. For example, a company company's disclaimer statement may state that they cannot be held responsible if their product or services are used without following instructions in the own, owner manual. So these are those kind of disclaimer. So. Then you need to check this box to confirm you have the right to use music in this commercial for this commercial purpose. And lastly is the tracking, you know, a section which is you know optional. So now we, uh, you know, we create that and we created our ads. And then remember, I told you you can create multiple ad groups and multiple ads. Simply here, I can create another ad, but you know, I don't want to. Then you click on submit and then uh, your ad will be, you know, up and running after getting approval. It usually takes about three minutes to get approval because TikTok want to review your ad to see everything is based on their guideline and their, you know, policies. And then give you permission to approval to run your ads. Then when you when your ad is up and running, you can, you know, see how, how, you know, how, how, how's the performance of your campaign. Simply come to your uh, TikTok ads uh, dashboard campaign. You can see all the active campaigns and some, you know, metrics. Now you can see that here I have uh, this campaign and here I can see the total cost, CPC cost per click, CPM cost per thousand impressions, you know, impressions, clicks, CTR click through rate, conversions, CPA and conversion rate. Also, if you need more metrics, because some companies, you know, they might, they must know other metrics because of their KPIs. So here you would say video plays. I want to know how, how many people, you know, have uh, watched two seconds of my video or six seconds or 100% of the video, 
it's important for us to make sure the video is of high quality. So then uh, this is it. So one thing that I want to teach you is now it's a, like advanced, uh, advanced part of TikTok advertising is TikTok pixel. So what is a TikTok pixel? Let me teach you. So TikTok pixel is a code snippet is placed on your website to track who is in the website and what does on the website. Why it's important to have TikTok pixel installed on our website. Sometimes you have an e-commerce business, online store, and people come to your website, they add product to the basket, to the cart, but they don't complete the purchase. So what you want to do, you want to run another campaign, retargeting campaign, to bring those people, people back to your website. You can say, okay, you missed something, okay? Because if they didn't complete the purchase, maybe they are not, they, 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 they are, you know, they are not interested anymore to buy that some reason. Maybe in the retargeting campaign, you can retarget those people and give them a better offer, like free delivery, if you complete your purchase by tonight. So that's the power of TikTok. So when you have TikTok, you know, pixel installed, basically you can uh, track and store all the interactions of your website visitors, you know, uh, inside TikTok. So now uh, let me show you how you can install that. So we come to add group. And you can see here, use TikTok pixel to track your website. Why we cannot enable this? Because now we don't have any pixel here. We need to create a pixel and connect it with our website. We come here to, you know, uh, dashboard and under assets, you can see events. You click on events and then you can, you have two options, app event, events or web events. You click web events, manage. And now you click on set up web events. And then TikTok pixel next. And here you need to name it. Let's say pixel one and you can install it manually or choose automatic setup. How it works manually, if you select that next page, you get a piece of code, code snippet, you need to place it on your website. It's very easy, don't, uh, you know, uh, be, don't worry. It's very easy process. Even if you search on Google, how to install TikTok pixel on my WordPress website, on my Shopify website, there are four, four steps instruction. Or you can say, no, you know, I use WordPress and I want you automatically install it. It's easier, but I want to show you how it works. Manually install pixel. I want to show you how easy it is. You, if you click on manual install pixel code, then you're going to get this developer mode and a standard mode that mostly you need to select a standard mode and then create. And now this is that you know, code snippet, you need to copy that and go to your website, you know, code coding part, and then you can see the head tag, okay? The opening tag and close tag head and place your pixel code in between. From that moment, you place the pixel code on your website forward, all the interaction of people within your website will be tracked and stored on TikTok. Later, you can retarget those people. Whoever visited my website, I want to retarget them again. That's perfect. Basically, it worked with cookies. So now you can click on next. And you know, after installing this, you can click on next and done. Or sometimes you have a developer, website designer. You can email this pixel co code to your developer of your website. Simply, you know, they're going to take uh, care of that and you know put the just email and done and send that email this code will be sent to your developer that's it so now uh we've finished that and we uh, learn how to run a, an effective tiktok ad campaign okay guys uh, uh you know definitely there are more advanced 
you know, tactics and strategies I can share with you. I don't want to, you know, the, 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 this video becomes too long. So that's what, that's why I prefer to end the video now. And I hope to see you in next, uh, webinars and to people watching my video on YouTube. Make sure in the, in the following weeks, come back and watch my other videos about Shopify, uh, store, Etsy store, how to make money online, how to run ads on YouTube and all of these practical skills that I'm going to show you. Thank you so much again and stay healthy and safe. Goodbye for now. Bye.